He's obviously very fast through the air um, and spins it as well. So uh, generally, if it's a, it's a faster spinner, it's not going to turn as much. But in these conditions, it, it does. So it makes it quite hard to come down the wicket and, and combat the spin. You know, he's obviously very dangerous in India. Um, the way he bowls and I guess how you know, accurate he is is probably the one thing. Um, you know, he gets a lot of LBs and bowls you know, in, fr in front of the stumps and a lot of balls hitting the stumps for such a tall bowler. So, um, you know, you, you speak to the, our spinners and they, you know, they're just amazed how he bowls, you know, so well for so long, I guess, and um, little changes here and there for, for ones that spin big and ones that slide. So it's quite hard to pick up, but, you know, he's one of the best. I think his variations are um, outstanding. He can change the seam and still land it on that right length. So he can be dangerous in any conditions given the fact that he's got so many good variations. Batsmen have to watch his hand closely, which just gives the batsman that split second less time to move. Um, they sort of got to stay in their crease a bit. Working out what he's trying to do is probably the biggest one and whether he's trying to, how he's trying to get you out and what fielders are in play. And I think just the, the mental side of it is probably a big one and not, not going too hard or not going too soft depending on the situation. Because batsmen have to watch his hand and watch what he's doing closely, it just cuts their reaction time down a little bit because they have to watch and see what, what he's doing. So I think that's probably his biggest asset.